I think you just got to walk in the world with your eyes open if you really want to, you know, see what's going on and, you know, be open to things. Don't have so many preconceptions. Don't, don't think things have to be a certain way. If you're open, you know, you're going to see things that are amazing all around the world. You know, I've always been somebody who just got obsessed with something and kept documenting, following it, and somehow managed to, you know, as a photographer, just integrate into scenes. I spend my life looking for the perfect wall, always. And I'm always walking down the street and I think it, you know, goes back to those Melody Maker days when you'd have five minutes to do, a, you know, a whole series of shoots with a band. You know, you're always looking for the perfect wall, something that doesn't intrude on the subject, but looks cool, where the subject feels at ease. I've definitely been a documenter all my life and I think my work is probably falls between portrait and documentary so I guess I'm definitely an observer for sure and also you know pretty much most of the cultures that I've observed I have also been very passionate about and that would go from punk to graffiti art hip-hop to dirt bike riders you know I get very involved you know if you're lucky enough to be passionate about something you should definitely spend your life following that path and don't let people deter you you know you only get one life and to be happy in life and be happy with what you do during the day is like a really like a blessing so you know I think that's kind of the path I've always followed you know my mom definitely didn't want me to be a photographer back in the day but you know I'm here uh, you know I grew up in London and we went to France a lot when I was a kid and we would also always go to, um, we went to this place actually in saint paul de vence called the Column d'Or and that hotel was full of art because the guys that owned it were friends with Picasso and people like that when they didn't have any money. So I'd be sleeping, you know, like as an eight-year-old under a Picasso drawing in my little bedroom there. And I think that really, all of that art, being around all of that art in an early age definitely influenced me and also, you know, growing up in London going to the National Portrait Gallery, looking at portraits that were painted in the 15th and 16th century and thinking, wow, that's what it was like back then. That influenced me to photograph, you know, punks and, you know, the hip hop scene and all of the things I photograph today and try and document them for people who are coming later on to look at, see what things were like back in those days. I don't think there's any simple secret of being a photographer of success, but Personally, I think you've just got to have your eyes open the whole time and look around. I mean, I grew up, you know, in the music business, taking pictures for a music paper called Melody Maker and for The Face. And I would be on the road with a band for three days and I'd have to get a cover photo and an inside spread and literally the last five minutes before they were getting on the tour bus. So I was always checking out oh, that's a good wall, or that's, maybe I can pose them against that fence for three days solid, and then I'd get five minutes with a band and I'd have to pull that off. So for me, I think you've always got to be aware and thinking, you know, ahead, looking around you. And don't, for me, my type of photography don't come with preconceptions. Just always be open to what, my photo is all about relationships between me and the subject, and it's a collaboration always. So you never know what people are going to be like until you're actually confronted face to face with them. Uh, well, I'm a portrait photographer primarily and a documentary photographer. And I think the most important, I mean, I'm not really a tech person. I don't do amazingly complicated lighting. I think the most important thing is people skills, you know, how to get a subject to relax and feel comfortable. And I'm always trying to document people as they are rather than as I think they might be. So for me, it's all about the conversation between me and the subject and getting them to feel at ease. And that's just totally people skills. Follow your passion. Don't take any notice of somebody who tells you your art isn't good. If that's your passion and that's what you think is brilliant, that's the way you should go. Always follow your passion.